Hi, I'm Brady with Backyard Fun Pools, and today what we're going to do is pull the cover back, check the water level, and check the chlorine to make sure that you have enough chlorine for springtime. Don't want to turn green. You'll need your cover pole, your test strips, or your local pool store, and a pump. All right, we're here at a pool, and one of the first things you want to do is take a look and make sure that there's no water in the center of the cover. That's a big indicator that it's time to drain the pool water down. But since we don't see any there, what we're going to go ahead and do is pull the springs back and uh, take the cover off and take a peek. What you want to do is take your cover pole, put it on top of this anchor, and you just basically twist, and that releases the spring. We've got some of the straps released now, and before I pull the cover back, you can go ahead and see that the water level's pretty high, so we're going to go ahead and pull this cover back and take a peek. And it is super full. One thing I will say is you do not want to do this when the pool is frozen up. That can damage the vinyl or the fiberglass, other stuff as well, but you don't want to be breaking ice to be able to drain it down. Just wait for a warm day where a lot of the, uh, the where the water's unfrozen and uh, you can get it drained down to the appropriate level. I'm going to go ahead and get this pulled the rest of the way back and get a pump in it. I like having the work area clean, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab a blower and blow all these leaves off the deck real quick. Alright, so now that we got the pool area blown off, we have the cover back, I'm going to go ahead and check the water and see how much chlorine we have left. Uh, it's a big thing to do because whether you have a warm winter or not, uh, there's some leaves that have gotten into this pool and the chlorine will try to attack it and sanitize everything and that leaves nothing left for the pool and you don't want to open your pool up and have it be green uh, in the springtime. So it's easier to go ahead since we have the cover back and check the chlorine level. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now, especially since you can see it already has a green tint to it. The best way to do it is to take your water bottle and at least go elbow deep, get a good sample. And you can either take this to your local pool store or like what we're going to do is just use some quick test strips. Another thing, if you do use test strips, all of them have a date on them, and you want to check that and make sure that they're not expired because that's not going to help you if you have expired strips. So this one has about a three in chlorine. So what we're going to go ahead and do is add some chlorine to it because we still have another month of winter left. It's just been very warm and a really wet winter here. What I'm going to do now before I add the chlorine is we have to drain the water off. So I don't want to drain any water that I put chlorine in, but it's just easier to go ahead and test it. So what I'm going to do now is grab uh, my pump. You can use any pump. We're going to be using a sump pump today. I'm going to use a actual vacuum hose attached to it to pump the water off. You can use a hose, whatever you have to drain the water off. Just make sure you're going away from the houses and away from the pool. I'm going to grab that now.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and just throw this pump in real quick and get the water level down. Everything's hooked up. We got everything running out. Water's at the top of the steps, about an inch from coming out of the pool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to draining it. Uh, as a reference point, I normally like to take hours to the bottom of the uh, pool skimmer. And uh, that should give us plenty of water out of the pool for the next month. where we want it to be so we're going to go ahead and pull the pump out and uh, go ahead and add some chlorine so while we were waiting we went ahead and cleaned out some leaves too and this is an arctic shock and it makes it a whole lot easier we're just going to broadcast this in so since it's a lot finer, it's going to be a lot easier to dissolve in cold water. All right, we're going to brush that up and get the cover on and we'll be all done. All right, we're all set to go ahead and cover the pool back up. We have the cover pulled back and we're about to reattach the cover straps. To do that, the easiest way I find is with this cover pull, you slide it into the end of the spring, and the further up you get on the pole, the more leverage you have. So you just pull, step and pull on your pole, and then twist and it just pops right off, just like that. Show you again. This cut in goes around the anchor, and you just Twist it and it pops right off. And I like to make sure that all my plastic covers cover up the springs. set everything's put back on our water levels drained down and we have enough chlorine to make sure we last through till springtime all right we're all done here today i hope that was uh very educational for you i hope you picked something up just remember on draining your water level you can check it at any time just pull your cover back and take a look and you're good to go so season's coming up here pretty soon and we'll have more videos uploaded, so please feel free to comment below on anything you'd like to learn about or find out about. We'll be glad to, to put those videos up for you. Hope you learned something. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.